Hi, this time, we will create a custom fusion transition template in DaVinci Resolve 17. In the timeline, we have two clips for this demo. We will create a custom transition template off an existing fusion transition. Go to the effects library, open the video transitions, scroll down to the list of fusion transitions. Drag and drop the cross dissolve to the timeline. Right click the transition and choose open in fusion page from the menu. In the fusion page, the current cross dissolve transition node tree is showing inside the node editor. The media in one node is the outgoing clip and media in two is the incoming one. If we expand the cross dissolve group, we can see there's only one dissolve node for this transition. Since we will be building our own transition, we delete the cross dissolve group. Add a background node to the editor. While the background node is selected, click the ellipse icon in the toolbar to add a mask effect to the background. Bring the background into the left viewer, and we see that it's masked to a black circle area. Change the background color to white. Select the ellipse node, adjust the soft edge parameter. From the node editor toolbar, drag a fast noise node to the editor. Merge it with the background node. Bring the merge node into the left viewer. Select the fast noise node, go to the inspector. Adjust its parameters to get a noise look to our liking. In this demo I set the detail to 10, contrast to 5, scale to around 7, seeth to 0.1, and seeth rate to 0.2 so that it has some motion when we play the clip. Drag the output of the ellipse mask to the fast noise node, so that the noise will only be generated for the masked area. Next we will animate the mask, from no selection, to a full image selection. Select the ellipse node, go to the inspector. In the height input field, enter equals sign to enable the simple expression. Drag a whip from the add button to pick whip the width parameter, this will link the height value to the width parameter. As we change the width value, the height will be updated as well. Since we are building a transition template, we don't keyframe the width parameter for animation. Instead, we right-click the width parameter, choose modify with resolve parameter. After applying the resolve parameter modifier, the width value is changing as we move the playhead. Move the playhead to the end of the clip, we notice that the mask is not covering the full image. Go to the Inspector, in the Modifiers tab, increase scale value until the mask covers the full image. With the Resolve parameter modifier applied, we can change the transition duration from the Edit Page timeline, and the transition timing will be automatically adjusted properly. Next we will apply the animated mask to the incoming clip, which is Media in 2 node. Select Media in 2 node, click the Mat control in the toolbar. Hold the ALT key and drag the output of Merge 1 node to Mat Control 1, choose Garbage Mat from the menu. Bring the Mat Control into the left viewer, and we see that the center area is masked out as transparent, which is not what we want. Go to the Inspector, check the Invert option of the Garbage Mat, now the center masked area is showing. Move the playhead forward, and the image is now appearing from the center. Merge the mat control with media in one node. Play the clip, and we have completed a noise dissolve transition in the fusion page. Go back to the edit page, we can change the duration of the transition, and play the timeline, the transition is working as expected. Now we have done the transition in fusion, but we'd like to save it as a template for reuse in other projects. Right click the transition, and open it in the Fusion page. Select all the nodes except Media In and Media Out nodes, make sure the two nodes that take Media Input are selected in order. In this case we first select Merge 2, and then Control click to select the Mat Control 1 node. We can Shift drag to select all the other nodes. Right click any of the selected nodes, choose Macro, Create Macro. 
In the macro editor window, enter a name for the macro, for example, essential noise dissolve transition. We also check the soft edge parameter of the ellipse node, so that we can adjust the edge in the edit page. In the file menu, select save as group. In the save macro as window, resolve always uses the macro folder as the default, click the fusion in the address to go a level up, and then select templates, edit, transitions. If it's the first time to save a template, you may need to create the folders as needed. Save the template, close the macro editor window. Go to the edit page, in the effects library, we can see that the transition is already available for use. In the timeline, hold the Alt key and drag the first clip and append a copy to the end of the timeline. In the effects library, hover the mouse over the transition, we can see the preview in the viewer. Drag it to the timeline, just like any other transitions, we can modify its duration as desired, or go to the inspector, adjust the parameters, and we see that the soft edge is also listed for adjustment. Similarly, we can use different masks to create other noise transitions, such as wipe or slide transitions. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.